cannot help but express the statistics. The Shih Tzu was the dead most popular dog breed in the United States in 2000. Reproduction. A female Shih Tzu will be receptive to a male's advance when it wants to mate. Signs that point to it being pregnant are behavioral changes, swelling of the bulba without bleeding, increased nipple size, and a swollen stomach. The gestational period lasts between 56 to 64 days. A typical litter size is 4 puppies. Veterinarians recommend spying the Shih Tzu. Once it has been bred, as as it will continue to go through its estrus cycles until the end of its cycle, which puts more stress on the body if it's not spied. How do you know which day is best? Your female dog will let you know. When she is ready, she will not try to run or try to avoid the male dog. She will move her tail to the side, called flagging, which means she will be receptive to the male. Yes, if mating when she is at the optimal time, a Shih Tzu can certainly mate successfully after just one attempt. A female goes through numerous reproductive cycles, called the estrus cycle, throughout its lifetime. When a female dog is going through its estrus cycle, it is commonly referred to as being in heat. A Shih Tzu's first cycle can come anytime from 6 to 15 months of age. A female that has not had its first cycle after 15 months of age should be checked by a veterinarian. It will go through a cycle which lasts for 2 to 4 weeks, about every 7 months. Heat Symptoms When a Shih Tzu dog is in heat, its temperature arises and there will be a red or pink colored discharge from her swollen vulva. Other signs of being in heat includes fatigue, restlessness, increased urination, and mood changes. Since the Shih Tzu is ready to mate, it will obviously attract more interest from male dogs and in turn to be more attentive to them. Sexual Maturity While a female Shih Tzu goes through a stress cycle, a male Shih Tzu is ready to mate any time after it reaches sexual maturity. A large dog breed can take as long as 18 months to reach sexual maturity. But a Shih Tzu reaches sexual maturity around 8 to 9 months of age. A male Shih Tzu can smell a female dog in heat from as far away as 3 miles and may become very aggressive in trying to reach and mate with her. Before you begin breeding, when you wish breed your Shih Tzu, there are many elements to keep in mind both for the sake of your Shih Tzu and for the potential puppies. Is your Shih Tzu ready? If you have a female dog, how do you know if your Shih Tzu is ready to breed? Is your dog old enough? How do you know that you can safely breed your dog? The best time to breed your Shih Tzu is between the dog's second heat cycle and the age of 7 years old. This is not recommended to breed a toy breed dog after the age of 7 years due to potential health risk. This breed would endure too much stress if having puppies after this age because a Shih Tzu can continue to enter into heat cycle for her entire life. You will want to have her spayed as soon as you know that you will not be breeding her anymore. As stated in our heat section, spaying your dog and stopping the heat cycle will help greatly to prevent memory and ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer is a great risk to little Shih Tzu female dogs. How many times can you breed a Shih Tzu? Ideally, 
you will not want to allow a female Shih Tzu to have more than 3 liters. Each time this dog gives birth to puppies, it puts an enormous strain on her body. Professional Shih Tzu breeders may be able to breed more than 3 times as they have the expertise to evaluate each dog. Great requirement for breeding a Shih Tzu. To correctly breed the Shih Tzu, two elements must be kept in mind. First, size should be considered in pairing. The male Shih Tzu, dog, or sire should be smaller than the female or the dog. Ideally, a 1 or 2 LB difference is best. Second, never take two run Shih Tzu dogs and allow them to make in an effort to produce very small size true puppies. It's very unethical and very dangerous to the health of the pups. Before you breed your Shih Tzu, it is very important to have testing done to both male and female dog. Why? Because a dog can be carrying genes that are passed on to the puppies. If one of the dog is shown to have genes of a serious inherited disease, you will want to think twice about breeding them. If both dogs have the genes of a serious inherited canine disease, you will not want to breed them. This would only produce puppies who have serious health issues and will not only be one and no value, but will not be happy and healthy pets. How do you actually urge dogs to mate? The timing must be right. How do you know when your dog is ready to breed? Many believe that it is as soon as they notice the signs of heat. This is not correct. Males can breed anytime at all, as most male Shih Tzu owners are quite aware of. The female is usually choosy and the timing must be right, according to her heat cycle in order for her to become pregnant. The Shih Tzu will normally enter heat two times per year. Most will not want to mate the first day. For some dogs, the female will be ready up to two weeks after signs of heat occur. The average time to breed your Shih Tzu dog will be 2 and 16 days after the first signs of heat. Yeah, it's just